gracious permission, Majesty, to return to the New World with your royal warrant to found a colony under the laws and protections of England. What's money? Who are they? Natives of the Americas, Majesty. Have they no ruler of their own? None to match England's queen. These gentlemen are welcome. See that they are treated well. I also come bearing gifts for your majesty. These gifts, majesty, are the fruits of piracy, the true property of the realm of Spain. Let's see, shall we? What have you brought me? Patata, majesty. You eat it. Very nourishing. Tobacco. You breathe its smoke. Very stimulating. Can you imagine what it is to cross an ocean? For weeks you see nothing but the horizon. Perfect and empty. You live in the grip of fear. Fear of storms, fear of sickness on board, fear of the immensity. So you must drive that fear down deep into your belly. Study your charts, watch your compass, pray for a fair wind and hope. Pure, naked, Fragile. Hope. Majesty, the Archduke of the Court is waiting. Let them wait. Go on, Mr. Raleigh. You were hoping? At first, it's no more than a haze on the horizon. So you watch. And it's a smudge, a shadow on the far water, for a day, for another day. The stain slowly spreads along the horizon, taking form, until on the third day, you let yourself believe you dare to whisper the word. Land. Land. Life. Resurrection. A true adventure. Coming out of the vast unknown, out of the immensity, into new life. That, Your Majesty, is the new world. I like your immensities. Your ocean is an image of eternity, I think. Such great spaces make us small. Do we discover the new world, Mr. Raleigh? Or does the new world discover us? You speak like a true explorer. <laughs>